Today is just a short video where I'm going to show you how to organize your various artist albums. Now, if you want to see a more in-depth video of Music Brains, like how to download it and set it up, please check out this other video I have already made, which is more in-depth. Also, if you want to know how to use the MP3 tag, in a more in-depth way, please check out this video. As you can see here, the links will be all below. So let's go first to my CDs. And I have two albums, a jazz album, which is really called Jazz and You Too. And note, please, it doesn't have the album artist. Now, this is primarily why you can't find the album properly, because in iPods and iPhones and Samsung phones and other phones, this is where the, let's say, the, the music player organizes the album artist first. The contributing artist is secondary. So this is what's missing. The same with my Jazz and Floyd. You can see there's no album artist. Plus, these labels I don't like, VA, uh, for various artists. I'd rather have, like, the other album with the contributing artist and then the song. So, first we're going to use Music Brains Picard and to see how well that does for us. So let's open our Music Brains. Now Music Brains will help us fix one of the albums, but for some reason it can't help us with the other. The first album we're going to do is the, the album which is called the Jazz U2. So I'm just going to put in my Jazz album and I'm going to cluster the album. I'm going to click on the actual album folder and press look up first. If that doesn't work, I can always click on scan. Excellent. I've clicked on look up. I did press scan before and it didn't really give me a good match. It gave me a mix of matches. So it seems lookup is much better than scan. Let's just check there is an album artist and you can see there it says various artists. So this is what's missing. Let's click on save. Make sure you don't highlight one. Make sure you highlight the album. Click save. And now I've saved it to my Music Brains fixed CDs. So if we go to the various artists, you can see Jazz and U2. And there you can see the album artist has been fixed. It's given us various artists. Plus it's given us the contributing artist first and then the song. And that is also what we want it to do for our other CD this one. I don't want this VA. I need the name of the artist who's doing it and then the song and the album artist. So let's try it with this album. First let's clear everything and now let's drag in the album. Let's cluster the files. Let's click on the album and press look up. I press look up again. It doesn't seem to be doing a good job of this one. And this is why we will need to use the MP3 tag. So I've clicked on scan this time to give me a better chance. It's found one of the songs, but not the rest. 
Now as per usual, you can click on the lookup in browser. It doesn't seem to be able to find any links whatsoever to it. So now we're in a bit of a conundrum. And the best thing to do is to use MP3 tag. So I'm going to close out of this. Quit Picard. Now remember, this album is okay. If we click on any of the songs, you can see there's an image and we have all the tag information. The only thing we're missing is album artists, which is going to be various artists. A quick fix for this is open MP3 tag. And we drag in the album. Highlight all of the songs and simply type in the album artist, various artists, various artists. Remember, you have to highlight them all first, write in the album artist and click on save. Now we have our album artist. Now, in order to get these file names with the name of the artist first, go to convert tag to file name. I've already set it up like this, but you may just have the title. So what you need to do is to click on this arrow and add one of the information fields like that. So I added, I just clicked on artist and I added artist. However, I do need a space between, so I could leave a space between and the line like that. And that's what it will look like. I click OK. And they've all changed. So now, if I close out of this, go back to this file here and open, you can see I have added the various artists and the names have changed. So much better, as you can see. So that's all for today. That's just to show you how you can change and add various artists so that when you put it on your phone, it actually goes in to the right album file because they should be under artist, which is various artists. If it's missing, they'll just go all over the place. So don't forget to give this video a like and see you on the next video.